Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Just Kick the Dancing Avon Lady, and today I wanted to share with you what has changed with my skincare since becoming pregnant. So I love skincare products. I am a huge fan. I love to try different skincare products, but because of the pregnancy, I did have to kind of be a little bit more careful about what I use. I did talk to my OB, and then I do encourage you, if you are pregnant or you're planning on getting pregnant, make sure you do talk to your family doctor or your midwife or your OB before trying any new products or even with the existing products that you're using. I know that my OB specifically said to really be careful of products that have uh, vitamin A in it or like sometimes it's called retinol or retina as well. And so I did have to extensively go through my skincare regimen to make sure that it does not have the that particular product within the item, uh, within the um, skincare product. I still have massive baby brain. So right now I'm 29 weeks pregnant and so I'm officially in third trimester. Woohoo! Yay! And so I want to go through with you really quickly about uh, what I used to use and what I'd use now. There's actually not that huge of a difference. Um, there's really was only, I think, three items I had to change out. So before, I mean, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I ha did have a post about how I got rid of my sunspot using a combination of the Power Serum, right, and our Skinvincible Day Cream here. Fortunately, I can still use the Power Serum, so I've been really, really happy with that. But my Skinvincible, I can't use it right now because it does contain retinol or retina in it so i did have to switch that one out and so the one that i'm using now for my day lotion is the a new vitali one here is the pink bottle one it's nice i mean i feel it's it's probably not quite as moisturizing as the skinvincible and i do what i really like about this convincible one is that it does have spf 50 as opposed to the uh, vitali one which has spf 25. so both products are really good um, they, they don't, I feel like neither of them really just sit on top of my skin. It does get absorbed really, really well, but it's just, I do miss the SPF on this. So I do use another SPF on top of it. If I do feel like I'm going to be out for a long period of time. So that's the only switch I did with my day, my day lotion, which is fine. Now for my nighttime routine, I have always been using the, um, Hydrofusion. And actually, I finished this one bottle and I just got a replacement in. And so I've been just continually using that. I uh, My nighttime routine is that after washing my face, I do use our micellar water. All right, I use this day and night. And then afterwards, I'll use a serum. So my nighttime serum that I'm using is our replenishing serum. However, because we did launch our new Hydrofusion Hyaluronic 1.5% serum here, I will be switching over to this once I get it okay through my OB, which I'm going to be seeing on Tuesday. My eye cream, I'm still using the Clinical Eye Lift Pro. This one here, which is my favorite eye cream. It is the dual eye cream. And I really like the fact that it does have an upper eye gel and a lower eye cream because the skin is slightly different. And I do feel that it just kind of helps me with the puffiness and the dark circles because for my first trimester, I literally was not sleeping well. And now my now that I'm I slept great, like pretty great in my second trimester. Third trimester, eh, it's been okay but um, I'm still using this one. I really do like this one. If you do tend to have puffier eyes, um, what you could also do is stick this in the fridge so that it just helps to uh, reduce a little bit more of the puffiness. Now, the other thing that I did change, I don't know where I put it, to be honest with you. I was looking for it, I can't find it. I used to use the Beyond Color Lip Conditioner or uh, the Vitamin C Lip Conditioner, uh, but both of those items, they do have the Vitamin A in it or the Retina Retinol in it, so I, I stopped using that. and. Right now, I'm literally just using one of our great lip balms. Now, if Avon is watching this, Avon, if you're watching this, please bring back our True Color lip balms. This stuff is gorgeous, it's beautiful. I love just the light sheer tints of the Plum Passion one, and there's just so little of left. I think I have one more tube left in stock and that's it. But this is my by far my favorite lip moisturizing conditioner um, with a bit of a tint because it's like literally one step and it's done. I love this particular product and I can use it while I'm pregnant. So 
please bring it back please bring it back so yeah i just wanted to jump on here super quickly so that i could share with you the items that i am using while i am now pregnant as opposed to pre-pregnancy so once again i just literally the major change is the skin invincible to the vitality that's the main one not that big of a deal i'm still using both of my serums i have a day serum and i have a night serum um, and then my night lotion, my night gel cream is the Hydrofusion. Now, however, because my skin has been a little bit drier, I do use our nighttime facial treatment from the Hydrofusion line a couple of times a week just to have that extra boost of moisturization. It probably would be the same routine that I would do in the winter anyways and kind of like late fall when we have the heat kind of turned up a little bit more but um, in the summer usually I use something a little bit lighter but this is really nice it's not actually heavy it is definitely more moisturizing than our regular gel cream but it is still a really nice product and it's kind of cool because it has like these little beads of shea butter in it that you massage onto your face I'm not going to do it right now because I'm going back out again and I don't want to take my makeup off and have to redo it but if you look yeah can you see those little gel beads so those I believe have little like little pockets of shea butter and when you massage it in, it massages into your skin, just adds like a really nice moisturization and oh, it smells lovely. It smells divine. I love the smell of this. So the face mask I'm using right now is still the a new Ultimate Gold Off uh, Gold Peel Off Mask. I really, really like this one because it's <laughs> It's it's fun to put on, it's fun to let dry, and it's fun to peel off. You can see that it is quite marked up. It does, does get a little messy, but I really, really, really like this one. Like, I feel that my skin is nice and soft. I had a photo shoot today, and yeah, I noticed that my skin still feels like nice and soft and supple. It smells lovely. You look hilarious while you're wearing it because your face kind of turns gold, like the gold people in Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, and it's just fun to use. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It literally is a very quick jump on here video that I wanted to show you how I changed up my skincare routine since becoming pregnant with our little Natto. And if you're interested in seeing more of my, my pregnancy journey, make sure you do also subscribe and check out my Yix R Us channel. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notation. I know. I've been slacking. Well, not really slacking. I've had a lot of stuff go on in life lately. It seems to never end, but that's okay. Well, I don't want life to end. God, no. But <laughs> I, the, the things that happen seem to be on an ongoing basis right now, and I'm just trying to learn how to manage time and life. But um, I haven't been uploading as frequently as I would like to. I apologize. I eventually will get back to a proper upload schedule. It's just life is getting the better of me right now. So thank you so much for your patience, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed your time with me today. I love you guys. See you in the next one. Bye.